All right, welcome back everybody. This is the second video in a series. In our last video, we looked at how to map out a drainage in CalTOPO. And I've mapped out a new drainage here, different than the one we saw last time. This is for Little Wild Horse Canyon. Unfortunately, this canyon has a history of fatalities due to flash flooding. This is not a technical canyon. We get families and little kids out hiking in this one and there is a high risk of flash flooding. You can see this is a pretty big drainage and it comes to a choke point right up here at the beginning of the trail where a lot of you know families or kids or things are gonna be. And knowing this skill of how to map out a drainage and do a little prediction for flash flooding can go a long way to having a safe trip and preventing any injuries and deaths. So let's take a look. We've got this mapped out. Once we've got the drainage mapped, we wanna overlay this into a weather view so that we can see the predicted precipitation for the time period we're planning our trip. And I like to do that in a different website. This is CalTOPO, we're gonna export this up here into a GPX file, and then we're gonna import it into windy.com. And I've already done that here, and here's that same route. You can see the drainage and the hiking route. And what we're gonna do is toggle over here onto rain and thunder, rain accumulation. And this will, you saw at the beginning, give us a view of the predicted rain accumulation over the next period of time. So we can say, how much rain is gonna fall in the next 12 hours? Well, Utah is gonna be pretty dry. 24 hours, same. Three days, okay, we're getting a little bit up here. And you can see these little, uh, as long as you have this toggled on down here, forecasted weather, you're gonna get the precipitation in inches. So five days and 10 days out, we're gonna get even more. And we can look at this specific area. If we click on it, it will tell us 0 0.08 inches predicted rain accumulation in the next 10 days. Now, you also have the option to toggle between different models. So this is the ECMWF model. Here's the GFS, even less. The HRR model. And you have to change the, the time frame here on these when you switch the models. Okay, so the highest prediction is the ECMWF, 10 days, it's telling us 0.08 inches, which is pretty insignificant. That's not a lot of rain. We can also look at a more detailed view here. We can pop this out and see the next period of time here and look at this rain bar. It will tell us if there's any significant rain events forecasted. So if this were like, let's say we're going on the 12th Thursday and this was at 9 a.m. when we're starting and it was big burst of rain right there all at once, that's gonna be a higher risk of flash flooding than if it was spread out over three days. So you wanna look at when it's forecast, how it's forecast, and then the area. If it's over this entire drainage, that could be a significant amount of rain, even if it's just a small amount all at once. It's gonna come all downhill and end up right here in your choke point at the canyon mouth, and that's gonna be trouble. So that's kind of how I do my forecasting. You're gonna keep an eye on this, and as your uh, adventure approaches, you can look at like the next 12 hour view and see, and then break that down and see 12 hour view, um, and then you can play this out. I think you can like, click and see you know, specifically what's gonna happen at what point during the day. And you can try to get a feel for if you're gonna be safe. Obviously, you're gonna to need to pay attention to the weather when it comes because this is just a prediction. And so when you're leaving the trailhead, you're gonna to wanna to check this, check the radar for the next hour or two, and then keep an eye on the horizon as you hike. And that's essentially how you're gonna be able to look at uh, flash flood risk. More to it than that, but th this is really just kind of the basics of let's map out a drainage 
and look at the weather forecast as we go. So hopefully this is helpful. If it was, like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more content related to all kinds of adventuring, canyoneering, climbing, hiking, mountain biking, uh, skiing, you name it. We're probably doing it. But uh, want to keep you safe out there and flash floods are one of those things that some people have nightmares over. So let's teach us the skills, get out there, do it safely and get home.